Hello everyone, it's your girl Tiny here, and today I'm going to show you my endless Urquis fuel tank. Right now, I'm sort of hungry. Let me eat my spooky pie. There. And so, um, I'm just going to show you this ugliness <laughs> right here. And there's the tank, and then the Urquis fuel, obviously. And I'm going to show you how I did the wiring system to make it automatic. And so up here is just a simple on and off switch so that this um, door can open up and let the ocean water come in through the pipes and down to the integration tank, I guess. And so here is a liquid sensor and then a not switch and then it's attached to, connected to a door. And so the reason why I did this automatic is because I wanted the tank to fill up while I was away questing or, you know, in a different planet. And if I ever wanted a refill, I can just, you know, use this. And so I'm going to show you the wiring system. So over here is you know, the liquid sensor, I told you. So the liquid sensor is connected to the knot switch and the knot switch is connected to the door. And so how I did this is that the knot switch makes it so that whatever is default over here is not whatever the default is. So let me explain. So whenever the light sensor is on, the knot switch Okay, sorry. So the door is default open. And so whenever it's on the light sensor, the knot switch makes it so that the door is not open. Is that making sense? So like, so yeah. Whatever the default is here, it's not because of the knot switch. Anyways, so yeah. Um, and then the pipe system here, is really ugly and you're probably asking why didn't you just do what every youtuber did um i don't know but when i did those um little horizontal thingies um it still overflowed with the water and the awkward glitch still happened so i had to make it elaborate and stuff and it works so down here, I'm going to show you how it works real quick. Ooh. Right here. Okay. So it opens up and the water's going to keep adding. Yep. And so down here, I put a bunch of lines. You probably can't see it. But here's a red line, a blue line, a green line, and then a white line. And basically, I did this because I want to know if it was working also shows me the depth or the level the volume of the liquid and I wanted to collect it just right in between um, the green and the white line so yeah and this mechanism right here just stops the Urquius fuel from <laughs> overflowing all the way up to here or up to here into the pipes that would be a nightmare so yeah um, that's my Urquis fuel oh down here is just a safeguard just in case something just stops working and it starts glitching with the water on top on the surface and so if I wanted to separate the water and the Urquis fuel this would help me Put them in like a one block state so you probably don't know what that means but <laughs> that's how I explain it to be so that's basically it you're probably asking why I did it in glass not because it looks pretty but because it's the cheapest material I can use so yeah hope you like the video and hope my explanation <laughs> was clear um, so yeah, thank you for watching.
Bye-bye.